Today is Monday, September 30th, 2024. And as you may or may not know, there was an unbelievable chemical fire at a biolab plant in Conyers, Georgia. Today, Monday, September 30th, 2024, they're looking at the air quality and they're monitoring it across Metro Atlanta. There was a large plume that is now sitting in the sky above Conyers following the evacuation of about 17,000 people due to a chemical plant fire and several Metro Atlanta counties reporting a haze and a chemical smell on Monday morning. Fulton officials said that they're investigating a haze and a strong chemical smell. The authorities believe it's linked to a Sunday fire at the biolab. Meanwhile, some schools canceled outdoor activities and took steps to prevent air from getting into buildings. The DeKalb County Emergency Management Agency and DeKalb Fire Rescue are both testing air quality and will issue advisories should they become necessary. A shelter in place for all of Rockdale County where the population exceeds 90,000 has been extended indefinitely on Monday. And here's what we know up to the minute. At 3.20 p.m. today, Georgia Tech professor Sally Ng is a part of an effort to measure the air quality in real time. Typically, the environmental agencies may collect air samples once a day and evaluate them in a lab, she said. The Atmospheric Science and Chemistry E-Measurement Network samples the air once every hour or every minute to measure the particles in the atmosphere. That's how Ng knows that there was a major spike in the amount of chlorine particles in the air this morning in Decatur between Conyers and the fire in downtown Atlanta. At 9 a.m., the system documented a 1,400 times increase in the amount of chlorine containing particles in the air and a 170 times increase in the amount of bromine containing particles in the air. Typically, there is very little of either element in the air, Ng said. Chlorine and bromine are both irritants that can cause respiratory problems, headaches, dizziness, as well as eye irritation, depending upon the amount someone is exposed to and their own health, according to the CDC. County and state officials were still measuring the air quality at about 2.30 p.m. on Monday, and the officials from several different agencies maintained throughout the day that they had not identified significant toxicity and that there were no immediate safety concerns. But the situation is an example of why traditional monitoring efforts need to be updated, Ng says. Quote, it's time to modernize our country's air quality measurements network. Now the crews were tackling hot spots with water and removing the debris on Monday at the plant in Conyers, where the roof and several walls collapsed from the fire, according to Rockdale County Fire Chief Marion McDaniel. The chief says, quote, once we get all that debris removed, we'll focus on bringing down the exterior wall on the D side of the structure, which is about eight inches thick of concrete, he says. The materials offloaded Sunday before the fire reignited had been placed in a secure facility on the property, McDaniel said. The remaining product will be removed once the rest of the building is brought down. She noted that the product, which was not publicly identified, had already reached its highest exothermic level. Quote, what that means is that there is nothing that we can do or will be done to make this to make this product worse than it already is, the chief noted. So it is um, off gassing, but once we get it removed from the building and the water source and placed in a secure area, then we'll see a better diminishing of the clouds and smoke. Mayor Andre Dickens said the air quality testing by the Atlanta Fire Rescue Department on Monday found a small amount of the chlorine in the air. Quote, this is from Dickens, it's not at exceeding, it's not at levels that exceed where humans can deal with, he says in a press conference dealing with the quality of air. Still, the mayor advised residents who are immunocompromised to stay indoors or wear a mask as a precaution. Gwinnett County officials, which is an adjacent city to that area, said that there were no concerns over the air quality there, and the authorities are continuing to monitor levels of chlorine and hydrochloric acid. 
Brian Vassar, EPA on-scene coordinator, said officials have not seen any levels of concern that would warrant a shelter in place in the Gwinnett County area. Meanwhile, the Gwinnett, Co the Gwinnett County Resources Assistant Director, Charlie Roberts, said the fire has not impacted the county's water supply and it continues to be safe to drink. Fire and Emergency Services of Gwinnett, their chief, Fred Cephas, said they're monitoring the situation and they have received more than 150 calls from concerned citizens that are all related to the fire. We do have a hazardous material team that did their own monitoring throughout the county and found no areas of concern. So that puts us at ease, Cephas says. With no current air quality advisories in Gwinnett County from the Georgia Environmental Protection Division, after school activities and events will continue as scheduled on Monday, according to Gwinnett County Public Schools. Parents and students were still asked to check their local schools, as some may have canceled activities based on local conditions, the official said. The district in Gwinnett said that it plans to have a normal school day scheduled for Tuesday. And the inter -city, uh, inner city, or I should say the Inter-Atlanta FC, uh, the largest inner city school, which is Fulton County, their youth soccer club with more than 30, uh, I should say 3,000 players notified the caregivers and the players, as well as the staff uh, when they sent out a notice just before 2 p.m. that it was canceling all practices scheduled for Monday citing air quality concerns. And I'm not shocked. The majority of soccer teams are really, really good when it comes to forecasting and looking at the health of their players. So kudos to them. They said, quote, with the safety of our players and staff in mind, we're canceling all practices on today, the message said. The Georgia Emergency Management and their Homeland Security Agency issued a public safety alert on Monday afternoon in Metro Atlanta detailing a local emergency, a local area emergency due to the BioLab fire. The alert was issued on behalf of the Environmental Protection Division and stated that the EPA was monitoring air quality for chlorine and related compounds. Chemical levels are unlikely to cause harm to most people, the alert said. The GEMA representative said the alert went out statewide but only affects anyone within a 50-mile radius of Rockdale County. Mario Greer lives in Chicago, but he was staying with family in Conyers when the biolab blaze started on Sunday. It was the second time that he's visited Conyers when a facility burned. When the facility burned, it was just the second time visiting there. He was also in town in 2020 when a fire disrupted Rockdale County. Huh, maybe we need to check his visits out. Nonetheless, he said the smoke was much lower during the 2020 blaze than it was this time. Quote, you sell pool chemicals, Greer said. What chemicals do you have that aren't supposed to touch water? Why is that in the building? I don't get that at all, he says. For Headlines with a Voice, this has been the Lockhart News Brief.